away. Hi guys, how are you all doing? So, oh, have you heard all the latest malarkey? Oh, Let me think. Oh my God, how do I get rid of that? Oh, anyway, this is GB News. Now, all this going around with Princess of Wales and King Charles, well, nothing surprises me anymore. You get the usual well-wishers. Yeah, that's fine. That's normal. That's what the, the Princess of Wales would expect. The palace would expect. We'd expect if we, you know, were off for some time. But some of these, I'm sorry, but one of the blind items I saw yesterday was a complete, and I agree with Megan's mole on, on this one. It was a bit um, effed up. Um, let's just say that. Uh, no. The Princess of Wales, as we all know, is a human being. So is King Charles. And sadly, these things happened. happen. You know, he's getting on. We have to face that fact. And believe it or not, so is the Princess of Wales. No one is getting any younger. And the majority, well, not the majority, but most women in when they reach their 30s and 40s, they normally have to go in for some sort of Garni op. <laughs> Whatever she's going in for, it's none of our goddamn business. We just hope that she recovers quickly and takes advantage of that rest. And all this malarkey going around about, oh, Prince William, Prince William, guys, he's going to look after Catherine, the Princess of Wales. OK, let's let's just shout that from the rooftops. He's going to help his wife out with the children, chores and whatever else. And guess what? He's bought a, a 200k something electric car. Wow, isn't that bad, isn't it? Oh, Prince William is so bad he's going to stand by his wife. Oh my God, guys, come on. Can you hear yourselves? What normal husband would not stand by his wife in a crisis it's a normal thing to do i wouldn't expect anything less from prince william to stand by his wife and be a normal husband because that's a part of marriage in sickness and in health why the hell is everyone making such a drama out of this why now we have they they had a rant about um prince william about having time off and spending it with Catherine or whatever's going on there um and now they're you know they got told about that and now they're harping on about this electric car that he's bought I understand people's frustration yes um people in poverty see that as a rub in the face in a way I understand them but trying to put myself in Prince William's shoes he's all about the climate malarkey right I, I don't agree with it but that's just my opinion he comes across as he's trying to let the public know that he's walking the walk. So he's gone out and bought an electric car because he wants to prove to the public that he's not like his brother and sister-in-law um, and, and doing the, you know, they're just talkers, aren't they? William and Catherine like to try as best as they can to walk the walk, don't they? Um, some could say, yep, yeah, did he have to really splash out that much at the end of the die? Get, at, at the end of the die? Oh, do excuse me. At the end of the day, guys, he's earned his stripes. He's allowed to treat himself, whether he's rich already or not. Um, everyone deserves a treat. So it's up to him how he spends his money. And and then you get the Republicans saying, oh, well, how much are the taxpayers paying for that? No, darlings, he is not spending taxpayers' money on his own cars. <laughs> Goodness me, why don't these people just do a bit of simple research? The same as when they harp on about um, Princess Catherine. How many how many years did she was she on the waiting list for to have that operation? The royal family do not use the NHS for obvious reasons. A, again, a simple bit of research for you ignoramuses, as Lady C would call you, Republicans. Anyway... 
rant over about that guys please get the word out just to remind some of these nincompoops what utter nincompoopery this is you know i've never i've never seen the the internet blow up so much over our princess of wales going into hospital so what <laughs> anyway and of course another couple are trying to take advantage off of this and uh yeah you you don't need to guess who prince harry could be stepping up uh to help william in his hour of need oh my god i'm sorry guys i some of these t um head thing head headers or whatever they're called are making me quite actually physically in real life nauseous i almost want to vomit really it's going mad it really is uh prince harry has been urged to return to the uk and help the royal family oh really oh the royal family all of a sudden need his help uh i don't think so after two senior royals are to be hospitalized hos hospitalized with health concerns oh okay oh dear this week, King Charles and the Princess of Wales announced that they are seeking hospital treatment for different conditions. Well, at least, at least they're letting the public know. Catherine, I can understand that she probably felt she needed to because she's going to be off for a, for a lot longer. Um, print, uh, King Charles, um, my dad has what he has, and all they do is just keep a close eye on it, really, unless they just want to remove it. So don't worry too much about that, guys. As you know, they've got it, they're keeping an eye on it. I think the king will be fine. The princess of Wales will be fine. Uh, but it says here, Princess Catherine has announced she had she had successful planned abdominal surgery on Tuesday and Kensington Palace announced the operation on Wednesday just hours before King Charles shared his news. Um, what's it say here? In an official statement posted Kensington Palace's official Instagram page, it was confirmed that she was unlikely to return to public duties until after ESA. Well, that's fair enough. Um... I'm I'm trying not to guess what's going on. I don't want to be that person because, like I said before, it's none of our business what she's going in for. But it sounds like I had to have a garney op and they just basically had to cut over my C-section um, scar. And basically it was just another C-section, but they just needed to get in there and have a good investigation. But I wasn't pregnant. So, you know, and anyone who's had a C-section will understand the recovery just seems like to go on forever, doesn't it? So, you know, these things happen and it's abdominal as well. So ugh, she needs a rest. I'm not saying that she's having um, that done. I'm just guessing when they say ab abdominal, it's going to be, a, a you know, a while for recovery. Anyway. Sorry, now I sound a bit of a hypocrite. I feel like I'm being like the others, trying to really investigate what's going on. <coughs> God, I'm, I've, I've decided I'm getting ring of uh, ring of the doorbell. I'm getting rid of the doorbell, the ring doorbell. It's driving me nuts. Anyway, Buckingham Palace also confirmed that the King has postponed public engagement. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> you know, common sense. Queen Camilla and Prince William are also expected to take a step back from royal du duties yes we expect that too that's normal the you know princess anne tara um, uh, sorry zara and mike can probably step in who bloody cares it's not the end of the world guys it's not the end of the world repeat it is hang on where's my mega speaker oh I can't find it. it's not the end of the world Cole told GB News that Prince Harry was an extremely popular member of the royal family and the absence of the Duke and, Duke and Duchess of Sussex highlights the sadness and regrettable decision made by Harry and Meghan to step back from royal life. Oh, whatever. He added, he was an extremely effective... Yes, Prince Harry was, but that was in the past now, dear. That's in the past now. You know, he's turned into a monster. He speaks well. Yes, he does. He's hugely sincere sincere in what he says and does. Oh, really? Have you been watching anything, Mr. Cole? No, I'm not having this. Prince, well, I'm going on here. Prince William said, has said that he's cutting back his schedule so that he can be close to his wife and look after 
his children at the, this, this difficult time. So wouldn't it have been it good for Prince Harry to have supported his brother and his family instead of allowing a very unkind and cruel things to be said about Catherine in both his books Spare and in books which would appear to have been written with his approval of <laughs> approval, if not cooperation. Michael Cole claimed that Prince Harry and Meghan may have won a place in the hearts of British people again had they returned to help the um return to the firm to help so i can't even read properly today but anyway i'm not going to read any more of this malarkey out but um there is these headlines going around but you know uh, that that prince harry's thinking about you know trying to be the hero now gonna rush back to the uk to help everyone out and you know make it up to them and the public this is probably all the harlot of montecito his dumb wife isn't it oh because she hasn't thought of a plan quick enough to try and overshadow what's going on with the Princess of Wales because normally the day after she'd have a walk around the car park or sit in the park picking her nose or, or something to be seen to try and get a bit of attention because Catherine has naturally got um, attention. This time I don't think she's had anything to be able to do anything of that matter. Um, I, so I think it's just using the Sussex squad to really attack Catherine and I think it's highly disgusting the police should have dealt with Boozy and Co a long time ago instead of brushing it under the carpet and making an excuse to myself I don't know how many other YouTubers they've attacked I know they did attack a couple but when the police tell you oh <laughs> We can't do much about that, despite us trying to negotiate with the people overseas, with like the authorities overseas. What a load of bollocks. I'm sorry to swear. I really am trying not to swear anymore, guys. That is my mission of 2024. It changed me. But I don't believe all of this. So I'm sticking by what I said. I do think Meghan Markle and her handlers are in with certain people of authority and I stand by that. I'd like to be proven wrong, but it's not often that I am wrong. Not in a braggy way. I don't mean to say that in a braggy way, but that's just how it is. It's almost like I'm, I guess, and it's right. Sometimes it's not, but you know what I mean. But anyway, guys, I've got to go now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And please, if you see any of this malarkey going around, just tell people to mind their own goddamn business. You know, Catherine, I think, she, you know, like I said, she would have told the public because they'll be wondering where she is. But apart from that, just let her be. In fact, she'd probably be enjoying the break, really, because I don't see Catherine and William as... Um, being away from the children a lot i don't i think they're more hot uh, more hands on than their nannies i think the nannies are only used i may be guessing here i'm not sure i think the nannies are only used for engagements or if um little louis <laughs> is being a bit of a stinker bless his heart i love him to bits that but if he wasn't a stinker he wouldn't be louis louis would he so you know we all love children that have got a character and um i just love louis i just want to squeeze his cheek and kiss him kiss those little cheeks of his but anyway i'm gonna shut up now and let me know your thoughts in the comments guys and i'll see you very soon